Let's see here. Well, what, are you, what are you queuing at me, I'm, Ben? Stop I'm, yelling I'm at me. I want to I get on board with Parasite is, is the play that I really want to get on board with straight off the bat. As he's actually making his way straight down the middle of the map. He's being very aggressive on that B flag straight off the bat, not wasting any time about it. And this is something that we were talking about yesterday, Golden Boy. You know, the strats of, of how teams are going to try and, and make those breaks and pushes off domination. Yeah. Because it's something that the older pros are going to be used to, and some of these newer teams are not necessarily going to be well practiced. Yeah, that's right. But you know what, though? In talking about this Elevate career, i got to talk about Conquer and Miyagi because uh, I am very familiar with Miyagi. That dude is a beast. He's a great player, and he's one of those dudes that is more or less just like a matter of time before he's able to, you know, break into that spotlight here. So actually, I think Curse Las Vegas, but Parasite just moving in there and doing absolute work. It's filthy as he is going to get taken out there. And uh, it seems as if we have, who are you jumping on board? We're nameless right now. And, you know, the Caster's Curse, man. Caster's full effect curse, right man. there. Caster's Curse, man. Caster's Curse. But let's have a look at Miracles now. He's making his way up the staircase. Kicks up one pre to the left. That's going to be the second as well. Nice plays are coming from him. Starting off relatively well in this first half of Domination Sovereign. Three and two. Although he does get shut down back on board with Parasite. Who's just being a little bit sneaky. Look how aggressive Parasite's actually being. He's so far pushed at that C flag. He's really trying to cause this Elevate team a couple of problems there as he shuts down yeah. Kalani. Is he going to find the second player coming in from behind? He's going to get taken out, and that's going to put an end to Parasite. You know, obviously what Curse wants to do here is just force them on their home flag, keep them at bay, don't, don't allow them to move around the map willingly. And uh, unfortunately, though, that did not really pan out, and Elevate also picked up on that as they made their way over to A to go in for that cap. And now the home flags are both capped A and C. This could allow that opportunity for Curse Las Vegas to move, or excuse me, for Elevate Excess to move in there for that pinch and try and see if they could force that B cap. Let them go to a home flag, let them take the home flag, and then let the rolls reverse. Still a very close game between these two squads. Five point differential, and Curse is currently gonna be leading with that very small lead. Yeah, it's a very, very fragile lead. Two minutes 50 still to play on this first side. If you aren't new to competitive Call of Duty, competitive domination, two sides, five minutes each to be played. And right now, it's this Curse Las Vegas team that do have that lead. And Stainville actually at the top of the team. Actually, one of the players we didn't really talk about in the pregame show. But he himself is such a dominant player. He's feeling very, very confident about this tournament. And, you know, he told me he's feeling a little bit more confident now than, than he ever has done in the past. I mean, what more can be said about Stainville, right? I mean, he is... He's just a nice guy. He is general. the definition of the veteran in this scene. He's been around. He's seen it all. He's competed at the absolute highest level of play when he was, a, you know, a former... Uh, team envious member you know multiple top two top three finishes i mean he is uh, one of the more successful players in competitive call of duty and also one of the more well respected as well so that's something that you always got to highlight with stainville and he just brings that veteran mindset to this team but then when you couple that with the just raw talent of a player like miracles and then of course nameless but then the that tactical mindset of parasite makes this las vegas roster so brutal and I honestly, this is why I, I understand why people are saying Curse could very well take this as they're actually going to be holding the C and B flag here. And they do manage to have the lead, but it's only going to be by three points at this point in time. Still a very, very, uh, you know, close game. Elevate Access showing, you know what? We want to make a name for ourselves right here at the start of this broadcast, and this is the time to do it. Yeah, it's a very fragile lead. I mean, I, I honestly expected it to be a little bit more one-sided than this, but this Elevate team are really coming out strong. I mean, you look at Miyagi on that scoreboard, 11 and nine, hasn't wasted any time as well, and Conquer with those two caps, but Miracles doing that OBJ work, four captures to his name, and this now with the remaining one minute left to play on this first side of Domination Sovereign. I mean, Curse are really starting to build that little bit of a lead up now. Yeah, and, and that's the scary part here. I mean, you have, you're talking about a 10-point lead at this time with one minute left on the clock. That's going to give them a lot of time to be able to rack up here if they continue to play like this. Going into that second half, it's a little scarier for Elevate Excess. you got to force something right now, and I like the fact that they, you know, were thinking the same thing as well. They're like, you know, Golden Boy, I agree with you. That's why I'm going to go after C, and I'm going to go and see if I can cap this. But something that I want to see happen, right, is kind of like the throwing off the other teams. I, I, I feel like... You know, with that whole mechanic of neutralizing the flag, right? I, I think that that offers a lot of uh, opportunities for you to get creative with how you bait out the other players to yeah. go and chase after you in a home flag, especially with a map like Sovereign, you know, with the way that the uh, flags are laid out here. You, know, you can really get away with some sneaky play and, and, and do, some, do some magical stuff. But as the time is going to be winding down here, it is going to be in the favor of Curse Las Vegas. They are dominating 81 to 68.
really, really smart plays coming in from Parasite there to manage to secure that Charlie flag. However, having said that, with the last two seconds, how is this first game going to end? It's going to be 82 to 69 in favor of Curse Las Vegas. A fantastic first half. Let's not forget, that's just the first, first half. half of domination. We still have another five right. minutes of action still to come by. But you have to give Las Vegas that credit. You know, first game of the day, you want to get all those jitters out of the way. You just want to play your game, and that's exactly what they did. Yeah, that's right. And actually, uh, Stainville, the star of that one, 16-9, two captures as well. Some great AR play from him, which is, uh, you know, what we usually expect out of the vet. Yeah. On the other side, though, Miyagi went in. He's actually 13 and 11, two captures on his end as well. A 13-point lead here. Uh, for for curse that, that's it I mean and that could be caught up very very quickly Benson uh, you know it's it's with the way that these two teams played and, and how close everything was I could very well see elevate excess come back into this game and potentially even take it they just need to make sure that they are forcing them in the back they you're not really going to try and go for that two cap but they need to take advantage of that opportunity when they go for the full flank and be able to cap them on their home flag yeah. they need to just you know they need to to keep that in mind and think like okay they're going to send maybe one maybe two players over here to take care of business let's take let's take that opportunity to do something let's start pushing b let's that's force the them back that's the key elevate needs to start taking advantage of those small mistakes that Curse Las Vegas are going to make because if they do that, that 13-point lead that Curse Las Vegas currently possess, that's going to diminish in almost seconds. Yeah. So it, it comes down to capitalizing on small mistakes and, and really being a little bit more aggressive there because every time they try to make a play, I mean, for example, when you said, you know, you called it, you said, oh, try and go for that C flag, they capped that C flag, but Parasite immediately, he just dropped back. His teammates leaving complete confident in Parasite to do it by himself and he neutralizes the flag, gets another kill, caps the flag as well. And they're, they're yeah. those things you can't really allow your opposition team to do. Yeah, and, and I think when you're talking about a team like Curse Las Vegas, they don't make a lot of mistakes, that's, right? That's so it. you have to force them. You have to, yeah. you have to force their hand. That is going to be the key here. Pacing, control. Hopefully, Elevate Excess could do this. You know, honestly, after seeing that last game, they have the capabilities to do so. It's just a matter of, again, just making sure that they can get Curse Las Vegas at the, uh, you know, acting on their toes here and then potentially, again, making some mistakes. But now, uh, let's go ahead and kick it off here with Conquer from Elevate Excess. Let's see what he's going to be bringing to the table. Finding one player already opening it up there with a kill on Miracles. And that was uh, going to be a quick one there. Already a, an immediate rush. So he's going to be trying to hold down wow. this uh, bottom side. And they, ooh, I like that strategy. Yagi getting a bit aggressive there. <laughs> I, but I respect that, right? So do that, right? Force him in there. Then allow then allow Conquer, if he, of course, if he was able to stay alive for at least one more second, being able to rack up one more kill. That could have given him an opportunity to make moves on B. But now Kalani is going to get taken out here. That's not going to bode very well for them as B is going to go in the control of Curse. They do manage to get it right about now, and they get it. So the B and C flag will be on the side of Curse Las Vegas. They are playing great. Elevate Excesto still very early in this game. And remember, 13-point lead off of that last one. So they have to win by 13 points or greater in this matchup in order for them to win. On board or 14 with, points or greater, yeah, sorry. <laughs> on board with Miyagi right now. He's in that top control. Just trying to get line of sight of someone. Doesn't want to just drop down on the B flag just yet. You can see him just an edge outside. Doesn't want the opposition to know he's going to cap it. Looks like Ooh. he's just going to run past it, see if he can try and bait anybody out. Meanwhile, the A flag has actually been neutralized as well. So, you know, Elevate, they, they need to make a play right now. Yeah, because with that flag neutralized, they're not getting any points, exactly. right? And now look right here, the lead, 23 wow. to 11. So. Curse already beginning to rack that up. That's exactly what I was talking about before, man. Just simply neutralize that flag. It's a mind game. You're messing with them. That's the thing about domination now, right? <laughs> I'm glad that they added that into it because you you can essentially just, you know, really mess with the other team and throw them off completely. Shot coming around the corner there on B, but unfortunately, not like old McDonald. He was not able to get that. Uh, oh, oh nice. never mind. That joke ended. Well. But Miyaki does get knifed. And 33 to 16, it seems like uh, it seems like Curse Las Vegas is beginning to run away with this one. And that, that was a really heads up play from them as well. It was. They, they recognized they had two flags and they thought, well, let's push, let's be aggressive, let's neutralize the enemy flag and back off. And just, you know, that 10 second period, that, I mean, that's just points that you can't afford when you have a 13 point deficit off the bat. You can't afford to be giving away those points. And now, you know, if you're an Elevate fan, you need to be looking for them to just be overly aggressive. They only have two minutes, 38 seconds left. They need to go for, you know, at least a trip cap, just to try and draw those points back, or even just, you know, two cap and a neutralization. Yeah, I mean, they, <laughs> neutralization is probably gonna be the, the better thing for them to do here, and just try and see if they can continue to bait them out at their flag. I mean, that would probably be 
the, the optimal situation yeah. here. And it seems like uh, Kalani, I'm looking on my screen, Kalani's actually making his way over to B. So he's uh, going to see if he can go ahead and cap this one. He will have some teammates there for support. This could be the opportunity that they were looking for. 46 to 27, though. I, like you said before, Ben, they need to just force something right yeah. now. And I think I, I have to applaud, actually, uh, what they were doing, what, uh, what Elevate Access was doing there in the C flag, because it forced all of Curse to have to drop back and get aggressive. But you see that one random player actually is going to be creeping his way. That's going to be Parasite creeping his way over to A, saying, you can go ahead. You can cause all the problems you want on C. I'll go ahead and take A, because I can. And that is exactly what is going on here. He does manage to secure A. There are going to be two players in the vicinity. Parasite is going to get taken out there. Miyagi is going to be able to reclaim this one back. There is going to be a teammate right around the corner. Unfortunately, won't be able to do anything about that. Miyagi should have made the call out there and shock Probably being very attentive, seeing that that player was going to go and cap A. He is going to be able to stop that one. B and A in the hands of Elevate Excess at this point in time. But Curse Las Vegas just managed to run right through there. And now they're working on securing B once again. Yeah, it was, again, another heads-up play from Parasite there. Just that rotation really causing Elevate to, to track back uh, and just take care of a minor, well, I say a minor, a bit of a problem that Parasite was causing because this Elevate team, they can't afford to drop any flags now. It's a 10-point deficit. Obviously, add on that 13-point deficit from that first half, making it 23 points. And with only 51 seconds left, Golden Boy, this is not looking good. Yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty much, I mean, you could very well call it here at this point. I mean, unless they get a trip cap and then hold it for like the entire time. I mean, you're talking about absolutely perfect play at this point, but uh, it doesn't really seem like that is going to be the case here as Boys at Curse Las Vegas are uh, currently going to be up by 15 points here. Couple that with the 13 that they already have. That's going to be 28 points total for them. And uh, goodness, I mean, Curse Las Vegas just absolutely dominating at this point in time. Shock, he is uh, going to pick up a kill there up top, moving in on B. But as time dwindles down, 15 seconds on the clock, that is going to do it. Curse Las Vegas does manage to take game number one here to open up the broadcast here at MLG. A fantastic performance coming in from Miracles on the second side. 15 and 9 with another four caps. You add that to his fourth in that first half. Eight captures overall wow. from Miracles. I mean, he is just an OBJ mastermind. You can see all smiles on that team now. High fives coming out. And a fantastic first match to, to open up this forecast. Yeah, I mean, without a doubt was a, uh, you know, stellar performance out of them. But on the other side, though, you know, you got to actually give Miyagi had, a, had another solid performance, 11-13. Yep. Uh, it was more of just like an objective-based game, trying to see if they can catch the other team off guard. It didn't really pan out that way for them. Uh, you know, their, their guns were just hot. You know, miracles again. <laughs> like, w when you think about it, I mean, you're going 15-9 and you're, you're getting the most objective. That means you're winning the gun battles in the hill. Exactly. Uh, you, whilst capping those flags, you're getting the kills. So everyone exactly. that's coming to try and take you off those flags, you're taking down. And that's just so, so important to do. And that's why Miracles is just such a good objective-based player because when it comes to those high-pressure situations where he needs to make those kills, he picks them up like there was nothing. Yeah, and uh, there you see it right there. So the Curse squad, they're feeling good, feeling pumped up. I'm sure their coach is uh, giving them some, some words of encouragement. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Revan introduced him on the stream. He was like, and the cheerleader for Curse Las Vegas, <laughs> Gandhi. Uh, which is actually pretty funny, but <laughs> but yeah, but good stuff out of Curse Las Vegas here as they are going to be able to secure game number one. Now we have Search and Destroy on Sovereign coming up next, and I'm expecting some uh, big plays out of Parasite in this one. Yeah, I'm expecting it. I'm expecting Curse Las Vegas to take it as complete, but we're going to have to wait and find out. We'll be right back with you after this quick commercial break.